Hi guys, today we're going to do a quick overview of BGP multi-homing. Let's say today you have a single connection with an ISP into your data center. You want to add a second connection with a different ISP for diversity. You're more than likely going to want to share IP space between both ISP connections to provide easy failover and failback. There are a few things you're going to need to take care of up front before you involve the ISPs to make things a lot easier. First, you're going to need you to get yourself your own public AS number. I have a link below to Aaron, who's an organization where you can purchase a public AS number. You fill out a form, you pay a fee, and they'll issue you an AS number. It's very similar to buying a domain name. Second, you're going to want to figure out where you're going to get your public IP space from. You have a few different options here. The easiest option is to borrow IPs from one of your ISPs. The downside with that is if you leave that ISP, you lose the IP addresses, which means you're going to have to renumber routers, firewalls, servers, and whatnot. If you can justify it, I highly suggest that you purchase your own IP addresses. That way you have the freedom to move between ISPs with no issues. Regardless of how you get the IPs, You're going to want to keep in mind these two numbers. With IP version 4, you're going to want to slash 24 or larger block. With IP version 6, you're going to want to slash 48 or larger block. These are the minimum block sizes that you're going to need to be able to advertise the same subnets to both ISPs without any issues. One thing to keep in mind, if you do borrow ISPs from your ISP, you're going to want to make sure they swipe the subnet with your new public AS number. That'll make it appear as if you own the block, even though you're technically just borrowing it. This is another reason I highly recommend purchasing your own IPs if you can justify it. Third step. You want to take a look at how this existing ISP connection is configured into your data center. If you only have one connection with one ISP, more than likely that connection is set up for static routing today. You're going to have to change that to BGP before you can purchase another connection with a different ISP. Luckily, you can accomplish changing this routing to BGP, adding your new public AS, and adding your new IP addresses all in one order. So you simply submit a mod order or a ticket with your first ISP. You change this to BGP, and again with your new public AS number, your new IP addresses. Once this is set up, it's very easy to add the second ISP connection. You're simply going to give the second ISP the same exact BGP information you gave the first ISP. They're going to mirror the configs on their side. Using this method, you can easily just keep adding ISPs and just keep giving them the same exact information every time. The one thing to keep in mind is with this setup, once you get this initially configured, you're going to want to start playing around with BGP prepending and BGP local preference, which is usually accomplished by using the carriers BGP communities. I'll get into that a little more detail down the road in a future video. Today is just meant to be a high level overview. So these are the three things you want to keep in mind before you start talking to the second ISP. Just to review, you want to obtain your own public AS number, and again there's a link below to Aaron, which is one organization where you can purchase an AS number. You want to make sure you know where you're getting your IP space from. And again, I highly recommend that you purchase your own IP space if possible. If you have to borrow the IP space from an ISP, make sure they swipe it with your new public AS number. And step three, make sure the first ISP connection is configured with BGP with your new AS, with your new IPs, before placing the order with the second ISP. It'll make things go a lot smoother. And again, you can just keep adding ISP connections in the future. 
and keep giving them the same info. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to comment down below. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching.